Alright guys, finally, reviewing Comme des Garçons' latest release, Zero. Can you tell I've been enjoying this one? I've been wearing it quite a bit. You know, this is not what I expected, although with the name Zero, I felt like it might go into kind of like a minimalistic direction. So it's a very easy to wear fragrance. So today in this review video, I'm reviewing Zero by Comme des Garçons and doing a top five Comme des Garçons fresh fragrances video as well. I'm doing the two together. So find out about Comme des Garçons Zero and a few of my favorite fresh fragrances from Comme des Garçons coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Zero by Comme des Garçons, the latest release from uh, Comme des Garçons. I was looking for this fragrance all over Europe. In fact, I found it one place, but uh, it was not open and they didn't have a tester. I asked them for a tester. They couldn't find the tester. They had no samples. So I basically waited to come back to the States and got this from ZGO Perfumery, who carries the brand there. I really love going to ZGO Perfumery, especially for some brands like Comme des Garçons. And so you can find a really, really wide variety of Comme des Garçons fragrances there. So if you are a fan of this brand, definitely stop in there or visit their website. So there is a discount code for ZGO Perfumery for me that I offer to you guys. It's a 15% discount code. It's Perfume Guy, but unfortunately it does not apply to Comme des Garçons along with Diptyque, Byredo, or Santa Maria Novella. But everything else pretty much is on the discount. I have a link to ZGO Perfumery. You can go through that link and use the discount code Perfume Guy uh, to check out some brands. But sadly, this is not discounted. But either way, this is a great house I really love. I have a video on the channel of a top 20 Comme des Garçons fragrances as well and various other reviews I've done along with Dahlia. Dahlia has reviewed Comme des Garçons with me many times, but today it's solo me by myself and I'm going to tell you all about Zero and some of my fresh fragrances from this brand. But before I get to the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning into this channel and you haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell, and be click the bell icon so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So how many of you are a fan of Comme des Garçons? And if you are a fan, uh, what are your favorite fragrances from this house? They're a designer, Japanese, French, um, their fragrances are non-traditional, but then they are. This, to me, Zero, is very, very, it's not necessarily mass, but it's very, I would say, crowd-pleasing. It's also, yeah, it smells like, it's unique, that, and it's also kind of mass at the same time is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so it's a very easy-to-wear fragrance, and it kind of has the Comme des Garçons DNA all over it, because when I smell it, it reminds me of other Comme des Garçons fragrances in that it kind of, reminds me of some, not identical. But then again, it's also a very pleasant wearing experience. So because it's so pleasant, it kind of seems to me that it's a little on the mass side, if that makes sense. But when I thought of zero, I felt like it's gonna go minimalistic. Zero is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, meaning it's complex and more notes. So I felt like this is going to go kind of minimalistic, but I didn't really know what the notes were. And I think they've accomplished that. They've accomplished the right fragrance for zero. So this is a 2022 launch. Perfumer is Fanny Bal, 100 ml for 165, Eau de Parfum concentration. I would call this a woody, musky fragrance and that's pretty much what you get with this one woody musky there is a little bit of a citrusiness there the notes in zero are cedarwood bergamot musk haitian vetiver synthetic rose or rose oxide and varnish accord so that's pretty much what you get with this particular fragrance it starts off very fresh it's invigorating you definitely pick up the bergamot there's definitely a citrusy touch here and i think this is pretty much the only contrast to this fragrance except for that um, rose that's coming in here and to me this is not an uber rosy fragrance experience you experience something a little metallic something a little floral but it doesn't go full-on in your face rose it's there it's in the background it complements the mostly woods in this particular fragrance and musk and it you know creates a great smelling fragrance experience but for me it's lots of cedar wood and vetiver lots of it and that unique varnish accord that they say that's in here there is something interesting in here like that but i wouldn't say this is full-on varnish I've, I've been around varnish quite a bit so it's there, it just accentuates the fragrance and the woodiness that's pretty dominant here and creates for a unique experience. And I think it's this varnish accord, whatever it is that they're using to create this varnish accord in here, kind of puts this fragrance in the category of other Comme des Garçons fragrances because they have these kind of unique notes and fragrances that makes them 
Comme des Garçons, you know? Their fragrances, you know, utilize, you know, pretty conventional notes and ingredients, but then again, you have this, like, weird note like a varnish accord here and something else in another fragrance it makes them very very unique and that's what i like about this brand they're wearable fragrances a little edgy a little weird some are more weird and edgy than others but very very pleasant wearing experience the fact that this is also very very musky i like that about it but it's a clean musk definitely a very clean experience and very personal this is not a screamer this is a kind of fragrance you would wear when you don't like really loud fragrances it's not it's not a showstopper. This is a fragrance that somebody's gonna come to get really close to you to smell your gorgeous fragrance. Because it definitely smells great, but in the background, it does remind me a little more of a, more of a mass wearing experience, if that makes sense. I wouldn't say this is something very designer-esque, even though Comme des Garçons is a designer and they create very niche style fragrances, whereas the designers don't create things like that. That's what I'm trying to say here is, this does seem like a little more designer, as in a little more conventional than other Comme des Garçons fragrances. But I think it's a great fragrance. It smells really, really wonderful, and it's very easy to wear. Would I rush out to get it? You know, I like these kind of fragrances. It's a little beyond, above and beyond something more minimalistic, like Eccentric Molecules fragrances. I would put this in that kind of a similar ball ballpark, but a little more oomphier, a little more beefier. So if you think Eccentric Molecules Molecule 1 is very minimalistic, you know they have those eccentric fragrances where they utilize the, the, the focus note in the molecule fragrance. I would put this in that kind of a category where they take kind of a minimalistic approach to create something a little more complex, which uh, Zero is basically. So I think it's an easy wear. It's perfect summer fragrance. That's kind of why I've been wearing this because uh, sometimes when I wear a lot of fragrances or test a lot of fragrances, I get really tired from smells. So I want to wear something and I kind of go to something like this. Easy to wear, pleasant smell, kind of a fragrance that's going to be accepted by other people because it smells pleasant and they'll like it off of you kind of a thing. So those are the kind of things I pull for when I've been burnt out of smelling and testing fragrances. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Zero. I think the name is appropriate for this. Zero is Zero and this is definitely not really zero because I kind of feel like eccentric molecules, I'm kind of using them as an example. Molecule fragrances like molecule one or molecule two are kind of zero. This is a little above zero if that makes sense. Anyway, that's all I have to say about zero and those are my thoughts. Let me know if you're a fan of uh, this brand and if you have been interested in, uh, you know, trying this particular fragrance out, zero by Comme des Garçons. And you know, I do enjoy Fanny Bell's fragrances. Uh, she does some good work. She did a great fragrance for Costume National. She did a great fragrance for uh, Frederick Mall. Uh, but the last fragrance I remember she did for Maison Margiela, something about the rain I did pick up, I felt it was a little underwhelming. Even though this might seem a little underwhelming to some people, I think it smells really, really great if that makes sense. Whereas the previous fragrance she did for the uh, Maison Margiela, the rain one, just really didn't do it for me. So there are fragrances that really work great for me. This one does, even though it's nothing overwhelmingly original, but I think it's the kind of fragrance that you wanna kind of like wear when you have a lot going on in your life, but you wanna smell great, but not overwhelm people around you or yourself even. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Zero. So I wanted to put together a list of fresh fragrances from Comme des Garçons because this Zero fits right into this category. It's definitely a fresh wearing experience. And even though it does have citruses here, the woods in here and the rose that they have in here, the, the synthetic rose or rose oxide, along with that varnish accord, creates for a very fresh wearing experience. So if you like the idea of a, a little more complex uh, fragrance versus being all citruses, Zero is the kind of fragrance I would pull for. So I'm putting Zero at number five in the top five list, and I've already discussed what this fragrance is all about. It's a great wearing experience. It does have citrusy touches, lots of woods, the varnish accord, a little bit of that rosiness, and I think the fragrance has a great wearing experience. There's definitely, I forgot to mention, a sparkliness up top when you first spray it. That bergamot is very, very juicy there, and I think it creates for a kind of a invigorating start, but eventually it gets woody and musky, and also definitely powdery. So Zero, at number five 
Moving on to another Comme des Garçons fragrance, it's Play Green. Do you guys know Play Green? This is a yummy fragrance and it's perfect in the summer heat. It wears very, very green and fresh and it kind of has um, kind of aromatic herbal qualities but also sparkling qualities and very, very icy cold uh, experience as well. So I would have uh, been able to add this particular fragrance in a ice cold fragrances video if that makes sense if you want the idea of a cooling fragrance play green is great with the addition of lots of green aromatics it features mint lime basil vetiver juniper mastic jasmine cedar and ambrette so it does have musky touches but it's very very green and very very fresh and invigorating this is Play Green. I was thinking of it featuring Play Red. Play Red does definitely gets warm spicy, so I was definitely going for more fresh uh, wearing experiences here. Uh, next up, it's Serpentine. This is also a really great green kind of an experience. It's very grassy and it's also succulent. Like imagine breaking into aloe vera, that jelly-like consistency in there. That's how this wears on me. So there's this pudginess, this kind of gelatinous quality to it. And it's really, really great. It smells fantastic. It does, definitely has decent performance for this kind of a fragrance. And I like the idea of crushed green grass and leaves together in this kind of like aloe vera jelly-like consistency wearing experience. But it features grass, asphalt, aldehydes, green leaves, juniper, galbanum, iris, musk. That's kind of the basically the experience you get with this. So it does get a little powdery, but it's the idea of a note like asphalt that they throw into these fragrances that Comme des Garçons makes them kind of very unique. And this is definitely a great smelling experience and a great wearing experience. Serpentine from the house of Comme des Garçons at number three. At number two, I'm putting this under the fresh fragrances list, even though it does get a little complex and a little more dense. It's Rouge. I like its fruitiness and the vegetal qualities because it, ha it has this great note of beetroot and the beetroot in here is juicy, berry-like, a fruity, just a yummy, luscious experience. It has uh, the beetroot in here along with some zingy ginger, so it has some spice. And the incense that comes in here kind of creates a little bit of an ambery, smoky experience, but it also has pink pepper, mint, patchouli, and labdanum. Yes, it does get ambery, but I'm putting this in the fresh fragrances experience because I love the way this smells. It's fruity and then also vegetal and then also incense-y. And here, this is the incense is the oddball note in here because it you wouldn't think it would work here. It does, and Comme des Garçons does a lot of incense fragrances, and I think this one did great with the incense in here. A great contrast to everything else. The incense in here also does remind me a little bit of the incense fragrances they have, uh, the incense series. So this is Rouge at number two. Love that fragrance, really do. And then finally at number one, it's Marseille. Marseille is delicious. Really, really great soapy fragrance created by Quinton Biche. He did a great job with this one. It has loads of neroli uh, experience, uh, but it's very soapy. And I always say neroli, orange blossom, definitely has a soapiness. They've really pumped it up here and thrown in a lot of powdery musk as well. So the idea is like washing your hands with this very luxurious, expensive soap. And I like the idea of soapy fragrances in the summertime. When it's really hot, you have this heavy sweatiness on you, spritz the stuff all over you, and you're going to smell fresh, and you're going to feel clean, if that makes sense. But a lovely, lovely fragrance featuring neroli, musk, cosmone, patalia, orange blossom, woods, and amber. Very good. Really, really great fragrance. Deserves the number one spot. It's Marseille, and that's my number one fragrance. Fresh fragrance from Comme des Garçons. Actually, that was my number one fragrance in the actual top 20 as well with Dahlia. If you're curious to watch that video, go catch it. But that's basically all I have for you today. Zero is a great fragrance. Check it out. Definitely feels a little more conventional, but I think if you like the uh, fragrances that are uh, more easy to wear, not overly complex, and a little closer to your skin and things like that, definitely check out Zero. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Let me know your thoughts on Comme des Garçons fragrances, the fresh ones I mentioned today, and of course Zero. And uh, I'd like to find out what you think. And if you have a favorite Comme des Garçons fragrance, what is it? Do let me know, put a comment down. Either way, appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. some of you like the bonuses, I'm going to give you three bonus options that are also perfect in the 
heat, so they're fresh experiences. This is uh, Calamus from the library collection. Once again, we've got that kind of a gelatinous quality. It's very soft. Calamus here, it features bamboo, angelica, celery seeds, red berries, and pink pepper. Very unique fragrance. This is a Comme des Garcons fragrance. You can totally experience it, and it's a great smelling fragrance. I just didn't, wasn't able to put it in the top five, but it's Calamus. Check that out. It's from the Green series. And then we've got Lily. Oh man, this is a great, great Lily fragrance. Wonderful. This would have been number six in the list. Lily of the Valley, Freesia, Syringa, Rose. It's all very, very green floral notes. Wonderful smelling. It might remind you a little bit of something like Diorissimo. I think that's what it is. I'm drawing a blank. But yeah, it is Diorissimo is what it re reminds me of, which is known for the Lily of the Valley. But this is their, you know, the Comme des Garçons take on something like Diorissimo. So this is Lily from the house of Comme des Garçons. And last but not least, this is also a freshy standard from Comme des Garçons. A very unique fragrance. And once again, I would put this in the same category as uh, Zero. Uh, it's got this woodiness, but then there's unique aromatics in here. Like cedar is here. It's a very cedar forward fragrance, but it features fennel, watercress, lemon, ginger, musk, saffron, tea, honeysuckle. Very unique smelling fragrance. And for me, this particular fragrance experiences like incense, but a fresh incense. Really, really great fragrance, perfect in the heat. It's standard from the house of Comme des Garçons. And that is the last one for you today. Stay tuned for another video tomorrow. Bye-bye.